Are you all right? Goddamn swinger. He's dead. Good. Paul, there's nearly $500 here. These swinger types always seem to have money. Well, now it's ours. You want his watch? Thanks. Do you realize that we have made over $1,000 in the past two days tax-free? Just by killing people. Horrible sex-crazed maniacs that nobody in the world would miss. We ought to get a medal. Hmm. I wonder how much we could make if we really put our minds to it. What do you mean? This city is full of rich perverts. If somehow we could get them to come up to the apartment. But why would they, Mary? We'd have to lure them with... Sex. But we wouldn't really... I mean, you wouldn't actually do anything with them. Of course not. The minute they try anything dirty, we pop them in the head and get rid of them. Just well, like we did him. Do you have something running in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Mr. Bland, come in. I'm John Peck. How are you? How are you ah, I see you brought them with you. Good. Yes. Why don't we put the little beauties over here on the coffee table? Yes? Yes, let's see here. Ah, oh, lovely year, lovely. Are you hungry? I was about to go to the restaurant. Oh. Uh, we'll leave these here. I'm sure no one will bother them. I'll buy you a little... Uh, oh, no! Uh, hi. Yes? Uh, I'm Mrs. Leach, and uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, no bargains today, eh? Mm. <laughs> well, I can't really argue with you. $500 is an excellent price for that wine. I'll take all you got. Oh, I only want to sell six. Only six? Well, <laughs> suppose it looks like the they have in the packing mixture, you know? What is that? What is that? <gasps> the lock man. I should have known it was too cheap to be good. Blah. <laughs> well, you just can't put on locks, man. Now you got to put up bars and you got to wire the windows to the central alarm system that activates a telephone signal to the police. Forget it. Mr. Call me Raul. Mr. Raul, are you at all familiar with handcuffs? Once or twice. Why? Well, I just wondered how much it would be if we put several sets in the walls. You want to put handcuffs in your wall? Yes. Uh, oh, no. Um, never mind. Uh, why don't you just put the locks in? <laughs> what do you want? I'd like a, a vibrator, please, and a pair of handcuffs. Get him out of here! He's not a... I'm sorry. Start I over. choked on my apple. You know, you're probably gonna need some uh, stay-hard roll-on. Uh, no. No? What about some uh, China, uh, what about some, uh, uh, fucked up? I need wheels. See, my old lady won't be seen riding around with me in that beat-up old short of mine no more. Is that all you need is wheels, you say? Yeah. Oh, sorale. Raul's gonna get you some fine-looking wheels, all right? All right. Hey, carnal, you're gonna have the finest-looking wheels at the short. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Some of those people who come to us. Pretty gross, huh? Well, it's not just that. Some of them are into fantasies that require a lot of acting ability, and while Mary has improved a... <laughs> Fucking thing is really locked. Uh-huh. Oh. Telltale white. You've got it. <laughs> but don't worry. It can be controlled. Oh, you... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It can be controlled, yes. Um, yeah. Just make sure you take two of these each time you have sexual relations. Before or after? Before. Hi, Swinger. I'm Howard Swine, your horny host that's hung with a balls, although I hate a who. Hi, Swinger. Keep rolling. Close the door and start over. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Hi, Swinger! I'm... Uh, I'll do it again. Hi, Swinger! I'm Harold Swine. Hi, Swinger! I'm Harold Swine, your horny host that's hung with... Oh, Howard. Shit. <laughs> 
Hi, Swinger. I'm Howard Swine. Your horny host that's hung with the most. Oh, I hate the most. I'm warm as toast. I'll do it. Hi, Swinger. I'm Howard. Hi, Swinger. I'm Howard Swine, your horny host that's hung with the most. Oh, I hate the most. As big as a post and warm as toast. Cool it, Howard. Those are all the things he couldn't say on radio, so now he's making up for lost time constantly. I'm so glad you could come. I come whether I decide to or not. Great, Howard. Uh, why don't you go now? Hey, you can't fluff me off like that. I'm your host, your horny host, who's hung like a post, and I'm more than hope it's about my jinx shit. That's great. <laughs> <laughs>